Okay, so in this video, I'm going to use Google Colab to estimate the value of uh, American options uh, using the trinomial tree as proposed by Phil and Boyle. Um, now, the, there's a little bit of introduction here in relation to Phelim, the original paper. I've given the link to my own portal. You might take a look there. Um, the Wikipedia uh, entry is also interesting. The original paper is here. Um, that's Phil and Boyle, and that's a 1970, 1988 paper. So, um, and there's some video explanations of how the tree, just visualizing how the tree works, uh, some estimation using C++ in the online GBD compiler. Uh, and then I do a manual setting up of the trinomial tree in Excel. That actually is very illustrative. Um, and if you're new to um, the area, it's worthwhile going in and taking a look at uh, these areas, right? So um, take a look at the video links that might be useful. Uh, we're down here looking at this R trinomial, and basically I'm going to try replicate the results obtained uh, using both the static memory in C++. Um, I originally took these values from Brody in the temple at a 15,000 step we should be getting close to 9.066 for the value of the option. That's what we have here with our 15,000 step. And the parameter inputs, uh, you can see the construction is uh, based on the original boil construction. Uh, the lambda here is the square root of two. Um, that's just uh, for us to note. Um, and so I, I executed that 15,000 steps is actually quite a big tree in static memory and it took 104 seconds. So it's a bit slow in C++. I ran that again using dynamic memory based on um, an Espen Hogue type design. Uh, because it's dynamic memory, it was quite a bit faster. We had it executed in 21 uh, seconds uh, approximately. Again, the same result here. And then I ran that also using the same parameter values. I ran that in this R. Now this code was developed um, by um, Detail and Verts, um, and there should be a reference there. Um, I'll come back to it. Um, and it's also at 15,000 steps. So let's just look at the data points. So again, it's the broad to the temple uh, parameter inputs. And uh, we verified that the value here was 9.066. Um, the using a 15,000 step tree, it's you can see here that the value is on par with what we had before. So let's just compare if we take the estimation value here in R, compare it to C++, 9.0659, it's the same. And when we compare it to the static memory in C++, design of trinomial tree, which is a bit slower, 9.06.5931. So all of the trees agree. The one that's most efficient is uh, the dynamic uh, tree here, C++. Uh, when I ran this R code, it's a bit slow. Uh, I think it took about two, three minutes uh, in terms of estimation. If I change the step size to 500 and run that, it'll obviously execute a lot faster. Now, it may not run uh, on first go here because we're reconnecting and it's probably looking for this line first. Okay, so we have to load in to run our code in Google Colab. We have to put in this uh, magic cell and then run R. And you need to prefix whatever your code is with this percentage, percentage R, and then your R code. 
then it should execute. It has uh, now at 500 steps, it's 9.06263, right? That's fine. Let's compare that against C++. We'll lower the number of steps here to 500. Again, that's a fairly significant reduction and will reduce the accuracy. So this is the uh, dynamic memory. And the template here is following Espen Hoag. And of course, nothing happens that just executes. Uh, but we need to run uh, this file. So 9.06263. Okay, so it is the same, right? Just uh, this one is more rounded. Now, if you want to see where this file has, when we run this file, uh, initially nothing happens in terms of estimation, except the code gets posted in here, main CPP. And if I double click there, you can see that's where the code is, right? So let's remove that for a second and come back out. Um, if we take a look at the static memory and I run that again, now we can change here from main, we could call it main one, our main static. Um, and if I run that, right, uh, take a look in the content folder that now appears here. If I want to see what the output is, now that's 15,000. In fact, I want to make it 500. So 500, so I can compare like it against like. And that's run means that now if I want to observe what the output is for the, the execution of the code, then we must have here main stat to be consistent with the file here, right? And again, if I check what we'll observe is the number of steps has been changed to 500. Okay, that's fine. Uh, to run this now, it will be less accurate. The true value at 15,000 steps is 9.066. So it'll be, if we run at 500 steps in this trinomial tree, it will be less accurate. Of course, it will execute so much more quickly. 9.0626296, we can compare that to our R code output, 9.06263. So again, it's the same, right? So all three trinomial trees are producing the same results. Uh, we're executing in C++ with static memory, in C++ with dynamic memory, that's much faster. We can observe directly here, the time it takes 0 0.02, 0 0.051. And as we increase the step size that increase the exponential increase in the amount of nodes we create in the tree is, is, uh, ex is, is uh, multiplied so you see a, a quite a significant gap opening up in the performance of the static model relative to the dynamic model. And the dynamic model is quite good then for large scale estimation when you're looking for a serious amount of uh, accuracy. Um, and the R code here, it's fine, it executes, but uh, I didn't put a timer on here, but it is a bit slower. Okay, so that's C++ uh, then can be uh, a little bit faster in, in many contexts, right? And typically is uh, a more primitive code closer to the zeros and the one and tends to be uh, quite fast in terms of execution. Okay, let's leave that video clip there.